in looking through this stuff, and, and bless you, can't stop lying for finding this, um, the, um, uh, you know, the NSA thing that Tucker's been talking about, he went on, and, and uh, I guess on Maria Bartiromo's show, and was interviewed about the NSA spying allegations, and um, the, the, this is on Fox Business Network. The uh, Fox News host Tucker Carlson says he feels threatened after ousting the NSA, ousting, ousting, outing, out. What, I mean, he didn't do either. He did not oust or out, ousting the NSA for allegedly spying on him. Carlson discusses the act's potential threat to journalists, social media censorship, and his new Fox Nation show on mornings with Maria. So it's it's an ad campaign. Let's, let's at the very end, you know, bury the lead. And his new Fox Nation show on Mornings with Maria. How do you solve a morning like Maria? Um, also, uh, Maria Bartiromo is probably the the lead point person at Fox for election fraud disinfo. If you if you want to get it all in one place, the um, you know the Mike Lindell in drag is Maria Bartiromo. Just for the record. Um, <laughs> Um, so, oh, scooch it over to the left. Sorry. Here she is. So let's, I, I'm curious what his defense of this nonsense is. Now you need to go, let's, let's lay it all out there just to be clear. Um, I fundamentally call bullshit on Tucker Carlson's allegations against the NSA, period. I don't buy any of it. I, it's not, and by the way, put that in a separate category from has the government spied on people in the past when J. Edgar Hoover was running the FBI where they told him the, 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 70 years ago um, saying stuff that the, the U.S. government did when they were fighting the, you know, the Soviets in the Cold War. And we now, now know that the Soviets would do everything and anything to place people in positions of government, media, and that kind of stuff. They're still doing it now. Of course they did it back then when we were, you know, violent enemies and at a nuclear standoff. Get over yourself. Like, that's a whole other package. Just, okay, that's like saying um, there's a, you know, we know there are... Uh, according to the FBI, at any given time, about 500 active serial killers in the United States. 10 per state. Um, and some of these states, you know, the bigger, that's why you live in highly populated states, so that there's more distance. Statistically, the chance of you running into them is way smaller than if you're in Idaho with the nine other people that live there. And, um, and but you come on and say that um, you, you dined and ditched on a meal and you go, it's prob I, that wasn't me. That was probably one of the serial killers in our area. It's as absurd a claim as that. Blaming your own crap behavior on that. My theory is, is that bad news is coming out. Uh, something's going to leak on Tucker Carlson. It's going to undermine his America first illusion. And he is getting out ahead of it with this BS story. There you go. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Um, all right, here we go. Let's, I, I, I'm, I'm curious. Austin said last. Oh, right. Hold on. So I only, I want to back this up too. Let's start back, back up, back up. What are you doing? What are you doing, Maria? There you go. The NSA spying. Tucker Carlson tonight, host Tucker Carlson, said uh, last week on his program that he, sorry, he has information. Sorry, citation needed. Are you sure he's the host? From a whistleblower showing that the NSA is spying on him and planning to leak sensitive communications to get his show canceled. Tucker joins us right now. <laughs> and he apparently just woke up and didn't realize that he had slept on that side of his head. They just, go, go on Maria's show. She lost a guest. Go on and promote your crap. Tucker, it's great to have you this morning. Thank you so much for being here. That's what the NSA said. Oh, yeah. You're, you're Ew. And the only people I get up for, Maria, it's an honor to be here. Yeah, it's... You don't go on TV <laughs> lightly you. to say the government is spying on me because you... Sure you do. ...sound like a crazy person. You do sound like a crazy and person. And, of course, you would never say that unless you knew that it was true, and I did know... Uh, no. No, you, you have... There's absolutely thousands of reasons 
why someone, an asshole like Tucker, Tucker Carlson would lie about the intelligence community, the, the government of the United States, the intelligence apparatus, our national defense and national security, if it, if it benefited him financially or on television as far as viewers and ratings and drew eyeballs because Fox's viewership is in the shitter. I didn't know that it was true. Almost accidentally, I was in Washington for a funeral uh, last week and ran into someone. You were accidentally at a funeral? When I know well is that I have a message for you. And then proceeded to repeat back to me details from emails and texts that I sent and had told no one else about. Um, so it was verified. In well, obviously, that's not true because uh, the details from the texts and the emails they aren't texts or emails unless you've actually sent them. So there's another person involved in this exchange. The other person. Can, uh, can, we, uh, can we just fundamentally deal with the fact that this asshole is, it wants you to think that emails are a single person endeavor. That text messages are a single person endeavor. And that they're whoever got that information from said email, and this is operating again on, I, I believe this is all bullshit, but let's operate within the fantasy bubble of his own premise, that the reason that whistleblower person is reading him his texts and emails is not because the NSA is following a criminal or a foreign agent or a, uh, a, a an enemy of the United States that Tucker Carlson is lippy and chatty with, and they saw that shit too. No, it's because they give a crap what Tucker Carlson's doing, that they want to shut his show down. Apparently, Fox also wants to shut his show down, so they're shoveling him over to Fox Nation on the website and giving him two shows. Remember, this is Tucker Carlson Originals? The fuck is this? A line of slacks? Tucker Carlson originals. And this, this person said, look, the, you know, the, the NSA has this, and, and that was proven by the person repeating back the contents of the email. Is that person in the NSA? Or are they friends with the person that you were talking to? And is going to use it against you. Now, to be totally blunt with you, I would never have said this in public if it was something I felt was wrong or illegal or immoral. They don't actually have anything on me, but they do have my email. So... So, it, then, but, but here's what the wrong or immoral or illegal part is, is that you are claiming that they have them, which we don't know, and it's also a false premise. We'll, we'll leave it at there. It's, I'll, we'll, we'll put it in the pile with the existence of Tucker, or with uh, uh, Hunter Biden's laptop in our, in our ever-growing steamy pile of uh, Jurassic Park level bullshit. And, uh, and the idea that, what is, what besides the immorality of making this whole thing up to cover his ass, is that this other person, who he won't name, is not, he, he is also not mentioning who that person is or what their position is, why they would know, or if they would even know. And if they do know, why did they know, and they're sharing it with him? Are they a journalist? Is this one of the other ways he's covering his ass because he was the source at Fox News that Hannity's pissed that he was dishing about everybody else at Fox, all that nonsense. Is this his way of getting ahead of that? And secondarily, um, who were you emailing? They, they didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. I just said yes when they suggested we should uh, overthrow the government. Uh, the word yes is not illegal. I knew they were spying on me. And, and again, to be totally blunt with you, as a defensive move, I thought I better say this out loud because... Uh-huh. Uh, why? Why? You're not doing anything illegal, immoral, or anything like that? Perhaps, uh, here, here's a good example. A, uh, a director I worked with um, at one point um, did not know it, but he was dating a serial killer. He uh, comes home one night, the cops show up at his door, and they go, does uh, so-and-so live here? And he goes, yeah. And they go, yeah, okay, um, you're uh, his boyfriend? Yes. You're going to need to come with us uh, for your own safety. It's like, what's going on? Your boyfriend has been murdering people and chopping them up. And totally unknown. Totally unknown. Like, and, and he's going to be home any minute. We're going to arrest him. Um, and you need to come with us. And he did. He, he left the, and they, they arrested this person. Now, um, 
he was in a full relationship with this person who was killing people. Found out like a horrifying story, right? Um, if he'd have found out about this and went, I didn't do anything. I was all I did was cook the guy dinner every night, and uh, we, we, you know, we had our uh, little um, gathering for our own. You know, we were just, uh, you know, we're, he was my boyfriend. That's how we lived. Um, if the cops came and said, we know your boyfriend's killing people, and we have your communications with them, would you go out and go? Oh, by the way, the cops apparently are, you know, saying I'm talking to a serial killer, and then your boyfriend leaves and knows that they're onto him and he splits. There is another side to this, I'm saying, is that if the NSA is looking at the person he's communicating with in these emails, Tucker Carlson is tipping that person off that the NSA is following them or, uh, or looking into them. No, it was not Jeffrey Dahmer, but it might as well have been. Because I have no, I have no other way to defend myself. I'm just an American citizen. I don't have a uh, citation needed. You know, any position of official authority, but... I do have a megaphone, so I should say this out loud, and I did. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's called CYA, cover your ass. And the NSA didn't deny it. Yes, they did. They specifically denied your claim. Then, yesterday, I learned that, and this is going to come out soon, that the NSA... Well, yeah, I, I think it's going to come out soon right now, because you're about to say it. Say leaked the contents of my email to journalists in an effort to discredit me. I know because I got a call from one of them saying, oh, this is what your email was about. So it is not. Okay, so is this the same journalist as the other person? And is the person that you're emailing leaking this shit and saying the NSA is doing this to cover their ass because they're the ones blackmailing you? Because you're in a tit for tat with somebody else at Fox. Who's on the other side of the emails? If you're not engaged in anything illegal... And you're willing to say, you're like out the NSA, the National Security Agency of the United States, and say that they're they're spying on me or whatever. Who, who else are they spying on? Who's the other person that you're emailing? The other innocent victim. Tucker, they're not a person in a position of authority. It, except in maybe the GRU. And maybe they need to know. It's not in any way a figment of my imagination. It's confirmed. It's true. They're not allowed to spy on American citizens. They are. No, they're not. No, they're not. If I if I email um, a a Russian oligarch sixty five times over the course of three days, and he starts doing shit based on things I've suggested in my email, or vice versa, or I start doing shit based on stuff he's suggested in his email, and they're spying on him because he's a threat to the United States and the national security. Uh, of the country, um, they're not spying on me. They're spying on him, and I am interacting with a criminal. Why, uh, who's the other person, Tucker? Who is it? Because I'm guessing, if you mentioned it, people would start to go, oh, that's why the NSA might have your emails. Now, again, I don't believe any of this, but let's operate, again, within the fantasy bubble of what he's selling so to cover the blackmail or whatever that, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have the $32 million that Bill O'Reilly paid out to his victim or doesn't want to pay it or Fox is threatening him about this. Believe me, there is a circle the wagons going on at Fox right now about all this bullshit. Like, they are having daily meetings. Because he's expensive. He's a big part of their, their weekly lineup. And they're brooming him to the fucking website? I think more ominously, they're using the information they gather to put leverage and to threaten opposition journalists, people who criticize the Biden administration. It's happening to me right now. How? How, what what are they what are they calling you out over? What what part of it? I mean, they're not going after anybody else. Why are you fucking special? Do you have any? Uh, I mean, other than you know you being buddies with a, a a white supremacist who was posting anti-Semitic and anti-gay and anti-black and anti-immigrant uh, screeds on uh, right-wing websites under a fake name, and there is no way you didn't know. That that guy was doing that. You guys were buddies. You were like this, and this was him. Um, that <laughs> that we're supposed to uh, assume. Well, I, I want to hear the res 
And I think it's shocking. And I don't think we should put up with it in a free country. Um, it's not shocking. It's, uh, it's just bullshit. And, and by the way, if this was genuine, um, you wouldn't be on Maria's show talking about this. But because it's um, anti-American propaganda um, from the pro-Trump wing of, of the Alex Jones slice of the Republican Party, the, you know, the, the Loud Boys uh, crowd, you're on Maria because that's where you spout this shit. You don't, I mean... It's worse than shocking. This is the stuff of banana republics and third world yes. countries. Yes, in, in thir it is true. In third world countries and banana republics, frequently um, journalists at networks paid for by Rupert Murdoch in those countries do make up shit about the government and, and create uh, civil discord in those countries um, for financial gain. So that is kind of, that is kind of true. It is shockingly uh, um, ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Tucker, there's no way that anybody else saw those emails. And this whistle. Except the other person and anybody else in their circle and anybody that hacked their shit and anybody in Cozy Bear or Apartment 29 or Leather Bear or any of the Russian GRU outfits through Macedonia that hacked your buddy's shit so they could keep control of the Fox narrative whistleblower relayed to you exactly what was in your communication That's and there's right. no way anybody else could have seen those emails uh the other person saw them the I don't, all right look <laughs> if it's an email you wrote it and you put something in the address line so another person saw that email. Who? I'm sick of this. This is the dumbest argument for Christ's sake. Of course someone else saw it. And the other person is entirely possibly like the source of all the stuff coming out. Who are they, Tucker? Who were you emailing that the NSA, oh, you weren't doing anything immoral or illegal. Who are they? If they're going to leak it and it's going to damage you, who are you talking to about damaging stuff? Who? If you're at, if you're going, oh my God, all I have is a megaphone. I'm not a person in, in power or control. I can't possibly. Who are you talking to then? Are they? Were you emailing someone at the NSA and they're like, this motherfucker is trying to get me to kill people on the 6th. There was one other person who knew that I sent the email and it was my... My executive producer, Justin Wells. That's it. Uh, okay, so now we know uh, you, your executive producer, Justin Wells, uh, who may or may not have been uh, pivotal in hiring the white supremacist dude that you were talking to, probably the guy you're talking to in these emails. And they're full of all kinds of like racist stuff. And that's what's, that's what, uh, that's what's going to be coming out. Um, it, it just ballparking, just, you know, while we're at it. Um, so your, your producer, you... And whoever the shit you sent it to, and their executive producer, whoever that would be. I don't know. Do, do, do they have executive producers at the GRU? What's the title? And I didn't, didn't mention it to anybody else, including my wife. I mean, there's just no possible. Well, why would you mention it to your wife? It's to a woman you're having an affair with and that you're negotiating a payment to keep quiet because she was at the meeting with Matt Gates and the, and the, the 12-year-old that he brought. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> Why would you tell your wife about your affair? Possibility um, that anyone else could have known. And then again, yesterday, I got a call right before air. Okay, NSA, uh, yeah, Chuck Shaw is alleged national security has been, quote, monitoring our electric communication. Yeah, right, electronic communications. And is planning, they said electric last time. I did it myself. Is planning to leak them in an attempt to take his show, this show off the air. Right, so that's his, ex his direct allegation. And they went, uh, we are not monitoring his communications and we are, no, we have no interest in taking a show off the air. <laughs> air at like 7.15 from oh, a thanks, journalist Joelle's. I know and like, not many left. We love, we love Richard. Uh, and I will often, when Richard on, is on after me, I'll, uh, you know, we'll raid into his channel because he's a great man. We love him. Uh, but I do like this person and he repeated back to me what's in my email and he got it uh, because the NSA had leaked it. So...
the NSA had leaked it or he leaked it from the NSA? Because he was like, dude, the NSA is looking at your shit. Because the story's changing right now. We just heard the story change. Back that, back that, back up a second there, Tucker. 715 from a journalist I know, nobody on. else, including my wife. I mean, there's just no possibility. Oh, what are you looking at there? What was that? Did you guys see that? There's just no possibility. There's a lawyer present. Okay, that's what's up. So, standing over here, just off camera, is either a PR person, a lawyer from Fox News, um, an executive, or all three. And, and the uh, Russian agent, uh, Maria Bar like uh, Maria Bettina's uh, twin sister that he's been, you know, sending non-immoral dick pics to. <laughs> Whatever's in this. Yes, that's right. And reminder, thank you, Josh, you cannot leak a lie. If this admits this is a leak, it's true. Whatever comes out is true. And I didn't didn't mention it to anybody else, including my wife. I mean, there's just no possibility um, that anyone else could have known. And then again, yesterday, I got a call right before air at like 7.15 from a journalist I know and like. Not many left, uh, but I do like this person. Well, that yeah, especially after, uh, you know, everybody at Fox is pissed at you for shit talking them uh, behind the scenes. And he repeated back to me what's in my email. He got it uh, because the NSA had leaked it. So no, he got it because your friend who called you that said the NSA had it leaked it. Whoever your buddy was the first time who said the NSA has this, who may or may not have been lying, sent that to journalists because you fucked with them. And this is all part of that. I, I mean, honestly. So, yes, it's entirely real. And I thought long and hard before saying it because, you know, you're... No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You found out almost immediately uh, and it started spouting about it right about the time the network books came out that showed that Fox viewership was off by 70%. That's, that's it. Your, your credibility is the currency, of course, if you're on television. So you're broke is what you're saying. And you don't want to seem delusional or like a conspiracy nut or a crazy person. I try to be... You don't seem like it. You are... And, and by the way, I, I, I take that back. He doesn't seem like he's delusional or conspiracy nut. He's just a liar. And he's grifting his own audience to cover his ass because some shit is coming out. Try to be fact-based. You try. You try to be fact-based. You know, sometimes you whiff it. Sometimes you say, gravity's an idea. And you're just spitballing. You say a lot of stuff when you're talking on air. It's a live conversation. You know, to the extent that we can, and yeah, you can't really be, you can't expect to be factual on a show like Tucker's, and yeah. not be crazy, and not say things that we can't prove. But this is, you cannot prove this. It's actually true. No, it isn't. You cannot prove this. Again, can, understand what's being said here. Listen to these words, and, and this isn't just about Tucker Carlson and this particular bullshit story. I need you to understand this, folks. You have to look at this for what it is. This is how people talk when they are deflecting and burying something. And the way Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity both talk to their crowd is they set up a fictional premise that they acknowledge is fictional. And then in the very next breath, they reference said fiction as established fact. It's an Ayn Rand thing. Ayn, you know, or, or like Scientology. I remember when Dianetics came out, I read it amongst a bunch of other books I read in high school, like self-help books, back before Scientology, you know, was the church we know it of today. It, there were ads on TV, like, why do I do this crap all the time? When, you know, page 184, if you remember those ads. I read the book in 87, 87. And um, the first three chapters are basically about, like, brain science and habitual behavior. And then the rest of it references the first three, like I said in chapter two, like, fuck you. Either introduce new information um, at, in chapter 12, or don't send me back the stuff I've already read that's your, your theory that has no basis in fact. And 10 chapters later, I'm supposed to go, oh, that's true. He said it a little while ago. That was totally true. That's exactly the same thing. And by the way, they essentially confirmed it. I had a shouting match last week with... And by the way, we watched this uh, chunk where he talked about this, and no, they didn't. I say officials, where I asked them point blank. They said, well, you're not a target of an investigation, which is a term of art used in the so-called... 
that was actually your term of art. They are, what was it? Like, you just showed the fucking clip. You just showed the, the quote. They are targeting, they are monitoring our email communications, right? Intel community. And I said, stop with your BS. Were you reading my emails or weren't you? Well, we're not going to respond to that. Really? You're not going to tell me whether you're reading my emails. Clearly you were. Why can't you tell me? We can't respond to that. So in other words, they won't answer your questions. They won't tell They're you the why NS they won't answer your questions. I'll tell you why they won't. I'll tell you why they won't answer your questions, dipshit. They're the NSA. Do you understand that I can find out stuff about you by monitoring, just listen, having a con I can talk to someone and have a conversation with them, and I can um, tell by the topics you avoid what what you're doing. I can tell by what when you deny something specifically you can that tells me that you are either absolutely doing it because you wouldn't even know to deny it you know like like they're you know, like where were you about 9 30 well i wasn't on the train where the body was found how'd you know where the body was found <laughs> you know what i mean like that kind of shit it's baseline the nsa is not going to tell you anything they don't have to tell you and you don't get to bait them into what they do or don't do because you need ratings they're going to answer your specific claim and they're going to tell you to piss off. I don't get why he thinks he's special. And it's just like, shut up and obey, surf. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's what they said. No, they didn't say shut up and obey, surf. File a lawsuit. Go for, like, are you telling me you can't afford a lawyer? Dude makes what, 35, 40 million dollars a year? Honestly, the ACLU would pick up this case for free for Tucker Carlson if it was true. It's bullshit. You know, they don't owe you an explanation. Yeah. My they do not owe you an explanation just because you are creating a fantasy on air and selling a narrative to cover your ass because emails are going to come out showing everybody that you were like playing footsie online with a white supremacist. Piss off and, uh, that you're having an affair with who is also a Russian agent who is involved in the murder of, uh, of Khashoggi. My view is I'm a 52-year-old American citizen who pays his taxes and obeys the law. We're the same age? Damn, dude. You can't treat me like I'm a peasant. They don't. They're treating you like everybody else. Fuck off. I'm an American citizen. This is a republic. Like that, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it, it, one would even think a democracy. See the little Republican versus Democrat, why he said it's a Republic and kind of plant that seed. Right, Maria? Um, yeah, get a lawyer. Fight it. Sue. Sue the government. Try to get a FOIA. What are you talking about? Like, you, you, you can't. <laughs> you should hire Rudy Giuliani and not pay him. That's, I mean, that's, it's all pro bono for Rudy. You can't talk to me that way. You can't talk to any American citizen. Sure they can. <laughs> yes, they can. And by the way, this is the asshole who believes that, you know, Chauvin should have been set free. So, <laughs> like, you can't talk to any... The NSA can't talk to somebody. But, you know, a, a beat cop who's literally kneeling on your neck for nine minutes um, is just doing his job. Holy hell. This and that way. Who do you think you are? They're the NSA. I think they're the NSA. Although... I would like to say also uh, that I don't believe this conversation bullshit anyways. You running your own country or something? Um, no, you're a federal bureaucrat. Unbelievable. And you owe me. Yes, true, Maria. It's the truest thing you said. Unbelievable. As in not believable. An explanation. That's my opinion. I'm sorry. I, I, I've lived here my whole life. I feel like they owe that to me. They don't owe you shit. You pay, as a matter of fact, we all pay our taxes so the NSA doesn't blather to dickheads on Fox like you. Why in the world? Look, I understand uh, the, the importance of governmental transparency. But can we just stop pretending for a second that anything you tell Tucker Carlson isn't going to end up in Sergei Lavrov's ear? Seriously. Or, I, I mean, any like... The reason why we have the FOIA Act and why there's an actual like arbitration process in it is because some shit, if it gets out, will get lots of people murdered.
I, honestly, I, you don't get to walk into any police department w in the middle of an ongoing investigation and go, are any of my friends dragged into that? Hey, hey, I, I, uh, you know, I, I, I saw a brown sedan in front of my bro my buddy's house. Are you guys listening to his phones? Who's your buddy? That's not important. <laughs> you, know, you tell me I'm American. Like, fuck off. Yeah, and the statement that we just put on the screen from the NSA... Directly responds to your direct accusation. Again, doesn't deny it, but... Yeah, because it's not their fucking job to, to bl like, blather about techniques or what they are and aren't doing at any given time. It's like, okay, World War II, the Allies didn't put a lot of inflatable tanks and airplanes, big balloons that look like tanks on the northern front to, to like, make the German Luftwaffe that were flying over the area think, oh my God, they're amassing tanks at the border up here. So we should send forces up there and it was a distraction. If somebody, it, like, if somebody, had, if <laughs> Winston Churchill had gone, ah, oh, uh, we, ladies and gentlemen, the important thing that you must all know is that all our gathering of tanks on the northern front are all balloons. One of wonderful birthday party we'll be throwing. I. What's the point? Why would you? And then it's like um, I have a right as a British citizen. I I I should know. You should tell me if those tanks parked on the north are really fucking tanks. Are, there, are those balloons are real fucking tanks? And don't just say it in English. Say it in German as well. God damn, this dude's an asshole. But yeah. plays word games and says what the NSA does in terms of uh, monitoring foreigners. Right. Yeah. Who were you talking to, Tucker? This is your moment. Tucker, this is it. Maria's setting you up. Helping you out. She's trying to help you. And this is the moment where you go, the person in the emails isn't even a foreigner. Right. That's exactly right. And what's so striking to me is, look, I'm... The person isn't foreign? I'm out of step with most people in, uh, in journalism in Washington. Most of them are... Because you're not a journalist? Defenders of the Biden administration. They see themselves as Democratic Party operators, et cetera, et cetera. But we're still all journalists. I mean, our job is... No, you're not a journalist. You're not a journalist. You don't even keep a journal. <laughs> That's how far from journalist you are. Still roughly the same to gather information and give it to our readers and viewers. And this is a massive threat, not simply to me and my show. Or you Hold on. Again, folks, I can't let this slip by. Maria set him up and said they cover foreign entities. And this was Tucker's moment to go, the person in the emails, I don't want to say who they are because it's not their issue. They're not a, blah, 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 but they are not, uh, they're American citizens too. He didn't say that, did he, though? Did you hear him say that? No, you didn't. You didn't go, the person I was talking to is, uh, is, an, al is in an allied country, even. Uh, you know, he could have said they cover foreign threats, but the person I was talking to is in Europe, but they're, it's an al they're in an allied country. Da -da -da -da. Like, all of these... I think Hal should speak with a different accent each day throughout the whole show. Yeah, I'll do a whole, like... I gotta do a hell show like uh, Sky News. We'll just do all that, you know. We'll do it everywhere Rupert Murdoch's got a show, yeah? Right. Or you and your show, but to journalism itself, to the idea. Yeah, it's, we're so afraid. Ever, uh, like, I mean, reporters all over the place will, will uh, you know, will be too scared to drop N bombs to their mistress in Russia via email if. Of a free press. You can't have a free press if. If, if, uh, yeah, if you charge people for it on three different sources. If the intel agencies... Are By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Patreon.com slash Al Sparks. Super chat. Super chat will always be super chat to me. Good old super chat. 666 who will have me. ...are secretly spying on you and then using that information... They're not. They're not. They're not secretly spying on you. They're spying on who you were talking to. And who the fuck were you talking to? Tucker. Tucker! Tucker! Who the fuck are you talking to, man? Bring them on! Have them as a guest on your show! Read the emails like a play! Information 
to threaten you and to control you. Like this, they're not. They they have done none of those things. Your friend is threatening and controlling you. Your friend is saying the NSA read these emails. And uh, by the way, I don't know how, but some uh, some uh, somebody a, a journalist friend of yours now has them. I don't know how they got them though. Where where is any of the proof that the NSA is involved in this shit at all? whistleblower. This, this is a huge problem for the country. And yet, I don't think there was, outside of, say, Glenn Greenwald. Uh-huh. Gee, Glenn Greenwald. Strange bedfellows. I don't think that there was anybody who stood up and said, wait a second, this is a huge problem for all of us. Instead, they... Yeah, no, uh, that's because uh, Glenn Greenwald is, uh, is a sap, a sycophant, and wants your job. Um, and... You, uh, he, he buys your lies because he uses the same lie himself. You both drank from the same lie trough. So that, that's why he's supporting this. It's the same reason um, that uh, like uh, Dershowitz is supporting you. Same bullshit. That, I mean, you guys all drink from the same lie trough. Instead, they made excuses for the NSA. Well, you must have been, you know, emailing with threatening foreign actors. Well, I'm allowed to email with anyone I want. Okay, so there's, there it is. There it is. There it is, kids. I'm sorry. What What was this? Is this how you would talk about this shit? Anybody who stood up and said, wait a second, this is a huge problem for all of us. Instead, they made excuses for the NSA. Oh, well, you must have been, you know, emailing with threatening foreign actors. Well, I'm allowed to email with anyone I want, for one thing. I'm a journalist. Right. And I'm an American, more importantly. It's none of your... Yeah. Yeah, it's none of your business if I'm coordinating with foreign countries... Uh, to disseminate disinformation for uh, sanctioned countries and therefore would be um, subject to financial sanctions because of my relationship with them in the same way that if I was selling machine parts on, for a nuclear reactor to Iran, I would also be in the same uh, dip legal difficulty. By the way, total admission. Total admission. Notice, and I mean, honestly. None of your business who I'm emailing with, if you... Yeah, it is. It's the fucking NSA. It's the... National security is their business. I think I'm committing a crime, then charge me with it. That, no, it's... Uh, they, they don't think you're committing a crime. They may think, for example, there's many reasons. Uh, one that... Um, they're watching you, um, gathering evidence on the crime you are currently committing, um, that you are, um, what you're doing is unethical in terms of your employer and your status as an American citizen, but not technically illegal, but the person you're talking to is planning to kill a bunch of people, spray shit in their faces as they walk through a park in Germany, for example, spitballing here, or grinding someone up in a meat grinder in a Turkish embassy, you know, stuff like that. And that that's the kind of stuff they have to keep an eye on. And you are helping them get their story straight. And if I'm not committing a crime, then please yeah. leave me alone. I have a right to communicate in private with other people because... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, guys, you know, it's like, it's the, this is the version, this is, uh, the First Amendment version of, um, of open carry. Look, I have the right to carry this gun with me, and you have no right to check and see if it's full auto, and you cannot do anything about it until I walk in the front door of the school and open fire, because until that moment, I am a law-abiding citizen. So you have no right whatsoever to tap me on the shoulder going, hey, hey, pal, come here. Can I see some ID? Where the fuck are you going? Why are you walking around this peaceful neighborhood with a with two clips duct taped together and six more on your hip as you, uh, you know, as you walk in, to walk towards a school? Uh, do you have, does your kid go to school there? Were you, did you used to be a student? You have no right to ask me that. Yeah, I kind of do. It's, uh, you know, protected serve, that whole thing. Like, I, I you know, if you, if you turn out to be fine, you can tell me and go on your way. I'm not stopping you anyway. I'm doing the same thing I do to anybody else. Equal protection under the law. But for public safety, I, I might need to ask you a couple questions so I know what the fuck is going on. You understand?
And the more of an asshole you are, the more concerned I am that you mean ill to the people you're going for. And I'm going to need to keep you here for a little bit longer. And we're going to need to delay whatever plans you had until school lets out. Tucker Carlson may or may not have asked that 15-year-old Russian, uh, you know, out on a date. But it might have looked like he was about to. I mean, the, the NSA might have been Chris Hansening Tucker for all we know. I didn't do anything illegal. I just asked her how old she was and what her what bra size she wears. Both totally legal questions. Because I'm again an American citizen and a human being. But journalists um citation needed. I'm I'm a hundred percent convinced if there are lizard people on earth that eat baby juice, Tucker's one of them. He's this I mean, we're this is like both of these assholes look like a cut scene from the new V series. Journalists made excuses. By the way, why is there not a new V series? Netflix, get on that shit. I mean, if you could do like deep reads on Lizards Among Us as a series, you could make that, if they can make the Americans go that long. Excuses for this behavior, yeah. for the intel agencies, criminal behavior. It's like mind boggling to me. I'm sorry, so um, what would happen, let's say, um, if it wasn't the NSA. What if, I'm just spitballing here, Rudy Giuliani got a hold of your emails and started selectively putting them out to make you look like shit. And by the way, manipulated and added text or took text out for context, uh, added uh, photoshopped and deep faked pictures of you or videos of you that were provided to him by foreign agents. And, um, and that's, I mean, you're an American, allegedly a human being, uh, <laughs> me. Uh, and this is exactly why we wanted you on this program, because... Be yeah, that's why you wanted him on. To, he's on to pitch his show. Look, he's not doing this from home. He's not in a fucking bunker. Seriously, can, I, I want you guys to think about this for a second. If the NSA was after you, I mean, besides like, I mean, what do you do? Blue Thunder your way through it? Uh, thank you, Kate Fresh. Tucker is definitely scared. Because we agree with you, this is wrong. It might yes, it's wrong. It's wrong for him to lie like this. It's wrong to make this kind of shit up. It's uh, wrong to be uh, to lie about um, uh, patriots that work for the safety of American citizens like this just to cover your own ass because emails between you and a white supremacist uh, Russian agent living in Germany um, with with brand new aftermarket boobs is going to come out. It must be stopped, and the politicizing yes. of all of these government agencies is out of control. Um, it's not actually happening, Maria. Maria, understand this. Um, just again, this is the create false premise, and then act as if the false premise has been proven. From the NSA to the Department of Defense to the IRS. Yes, why isn't there a remake of it? I agree, you know what I mean? I Like, I think it could, I mean, yeah. Hold on. Look at, uh... Okay. Now, do you right. think that the NSA is doing this on their own, or is it being... <laughs> yeah. Um, I, 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 Maria, if I may, I don't believe the NSA is doing this. ...being directed by the Biden administration. I, well, they are part of the Biden administration, though they seem to operate independently of any political <laughs> control. I mean... Uh-huh. Right. Because, the, like the military, the national security, it, if they give a shit about Democrat versus Republican, it puts us all in danger because it makes them pressure, available to pressure that could lead to half the country being murdered. This is so stupid. I mean, again... In, in the U.S. government, all the power rests with the people who were elected because this is supposed to be a democracy. No agency is supposed to act independently of elected officials, period. Right. But the elected officials can't supersede the law and stop them from protecting the United States if that's their mandate. Nobody can say, nobody, for example, and I know Trump tried uh, to stand down the NSA and CISA so that they wouldn't protect us from Russian attack and people were fired or resigned because they refused that pressure. 
But that doesn't mean they could tell them not to and make that pressure actually actually override their constitutional duty. No elected, no Paul Gozar can walk in and go, I'm a representative of dipshit Iowa and uh, Texas, and you guys need to stop looking at uh, Sergey Lavrov's um, grinder account. None of them, whatever, I don't know that he has one. Probably has one of all of them, right? You'd have an account everywhere, wouldn't you? If you were, a, I mean, do you GRU, bro? Um that he doesn't have the right because he's an elected official to override the duty of a law enforcement officer. So, you know, I don't know. Here's what I do know. And um, I, this is, there'll be a short list. And I, and I know it on direct authority that the NSA... Uh, no, you don't. I know it. Listen to that sentence. I know it on direct authority. The fuck does that mean? I know it on direct authority routinely gives information on American citizens to the Justice Department, to the FBI, which it then uses in its intel division. Now, that's illegal. They're not allowed to spy on American citizens. That they're not. Um, they're spying on foreign agents. And holy shit, why are you talking to this person who's got plans to attack the United States? A lot. Privately. And here's the... Uh, this is the bigger question. Let's just say, kids... You had a big television show on, on let's say, uh, uh, Cox News. And um, you, 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 know, you as a journalist did kind of insider reports with some people. And you even interviewed and talked to El Chapo. And you did 60 Minutes. Like 60 Minutes contacts people. Sometimes, they, you know, like cartel leaders that are all, you know, their faces all fuzzed out. You know, he's talking like this or her. I never knew there were. Like, the, you know, those interviews? Does anybody, would anybody at 60 Minutes think they were being spied on if the DEA saw the emails that were coming into that person's email from their producer? And would they panic about it? They go, no, we, do, we conducted an interview. It's not, it's not a problem. We at Cox News do this all the time. So our emails to that person were conducting an interview. It's not scary at all. And they weren't looking at us. They were obviously looking at them. I mean, when I started texting El Chapo pictures of my nuts, it got a little personal. But, they, you know, that was the only... I mean, I talked to my executive producer about it. I CC'd him, CC'd him on all the nut shots. And when I sent them to El Chapo, uh, that, was, that was... He wouldn't give us the interview unless I showed him my testicles. And so we were... <laughs> we at Cox News will do whatever it takes to get the story. Um, and we stand by all my nut shots, right? At some point, if you're saying I talk to anybody, I talk to leaders around the world and this uh, because I'm a journalist and, it, um, you would know that in your talking to that person, the NSA or the CIA or anybody in the intelligence community might pick up that, t that conversation because you'd have to be a fucking moron to not think that they're paying attention to the chatter on the internet, you know, via electronic communications with dangerous foreign actors all the time. And you wouldn't take it personally. Why would you take it personally? I should do Cox News as my, <laughs> as one of my other flank.com slash infotainment wars. Okay. <laughs> all this talk about nuts is making you hungry. It happens. Um, should make your forehead sweaty. I'm kidding. Look, the point I'm trying to make is is that if you emailed, a, like, there's a, there's a Netflix series, I think it's, it might be on Amazon. I don't know. It comes up in my scroll. I haven't watched it yet. But it's about this girl went missing and uh, her friend and another person started emailing the person that they thought killed her, making it look like she had survived. And so that person was like, oh shit, she's threatening me. But she was dead. And th they tricked this person into believing that this person was still alive and then, you know, sort of in incriminating themselves. If those two people doing that, where they were tricking this person, found out that the, um, and this person had fled to Mexico, that the NSA or Interpol or, this, or the, you know, FBI, which does do federal criminal cases on criminals that leave the country... If they had found out that their emails and communications were picked up in that thing, they wouldn't be shocked or surprised. They'd go, yeah, we were doing this. This is the whole thing. 
And you're not spying on us. I understand that. You're spying on that person because they're a fleeing fucking murderer. And I have no illusions that a functioning government would be able to keep track of the worst of the worst. And this asshole thinks that he can chit-chat with Holocaust-denying white supremacists who are forming a, a, a far-right uprising in Germany with Russian money. And, he's, and it's not going to show up on anybody's radar? What? That law has been on the books for a long time. The NSA is designed to monitor foreign communications from our potential enemies. From people right. So how do communications work, Tucker? How do they work? What's a, how does a, what, remember, if you guys have seen, you guys know what a phone looks like. Hold on. I, I, I know I have one around here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. This is, let me give you an example, here, um, if I may. Be right there. Hold on. All right. Tucker, let's, let's, oh, what's, a, what's a good analogy I can give for um, Tucker? See this thing? Remember these guys? Remember that? Hi, how you doing? Yeah, I don't know. What are you wearing? Remember these? You, you notice they have two parts to them? Why, why does a... Tucker, what the fuck is this part for on a phone? What's it for? What, what, why would you... Tucker, why wouldn't you just have this part? Isn't the isn't communication simply a rhetorical advice or a device rather? Um, what? Why do you need this part? Oh, right. This is where you hear from the other person. Communication is only communication if it goes two directions. I don't have to tap the person who's talking into this end if I have a tap on the person who's in this end. And why the fuck are you using this end to talk to the person I'm tapping in this end who's fucking dangerous? And if you are, why are you not letting us know if it's for the case of doing the show and this kind of like, hey, by the way, we're flying in a multiple murdering serial killer who knows state secrets from another country and we might want to give you guys the heads up. I'm sorry. Some of you may not be familiar with that device. That, that was a phone. I have a... If, you're, if you don't usually use it, this, this one's kind of another brand. So this side... Hello? Hello. Um, Dr. Carlson, please. Yes. Tell him I'm sitting in Cafe Crossroad. Yes. But whatever you do, if you hit a click on the line, is not... It's not NSA. Is KGB is FSB. I will tell you this whole thing. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, I'm, what am, I'm wearing a blue shirt, wearing a, a white carnation, and no pants. Right. You know, that's the great part of live streaming. So I don't need pants at all. This is not... Yes. Okay. What was that noise? Did you hear that noise? I hear noise. Um, oh, yes, I can hold. So weird. NSA has the weirdest hold music. I think it's Vertical Horizon. I love those guys. Anyways. I've, yes, I've, 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 be, I've become Carrot Top in my pet, in my, in my, what are they? Sorry. All right. So, just my, just my point is that it's not communication. It's this, this without this part, it's just a microphone. Dumb son of a bitch. People who threaten the United States, not from American citizens. Who might be talking to people who are threatening the United States. What part of that is hard? Seriously. But it is routine. And I got this from two FBI agents, you know, who would know. What, the clap? Not just field guys, people work at headquarters. This is a daily thing. Yes, we get information from the NSA on Americans and we use it in our investigations. Really? really? Gee, you mean they go through proper fucking channels? American citizen or American here on or a person here on a green card or a resident alien in the United States is contacting, I don't know, let's just, eh, ISIS. And the NSA picks up that that fucker is talking to people from ISIS. Because, not because they're monitoring that person, they don't know who the fuck that person is. They're monitoring ISIS. And they go, holy shit, this dipshit click of January 6th insurrectionists are getting pipe bomb information from a dude who works for ISIS. And we can't do anything about it because we're the NSA. So we call the FBI. That's what you're supposed to do. Really? What? 
Yes, that's what you're, that is the, that's literally legally their obligation. What the? And there's supposed to be oversight of this by the Congress, by the Intel Committee. There is. And there's not. I spoke. There is. To a member of the Intel Committee three years ago who told me two. Three years ago? My face that he was being spied upon by the NSA and CIA. No, who alleged he was being spied upon. Spied upon? Hey, this is not a crazy, but it's not a homeless guy in the yeah. subway. This is a sitting member of the Intel Committee who said the people he was supposed to be overseeing were spying on him and there's nothing he can do about it. That's a totally dysfunctional, out of control, third world system. No, it isn't. Uh, it, unless you're talking about the fact that a, a a criminal agent for a foreign power is a sitting congressman. Who? Who said this, Tucker? Who? Fucking hell. The last administration did not fix it to their, I'm sorry to say it, but they didn't. They And they should be embarrassed of that. They should have. And this administration has benefited. Fix what? They used it. Benefiting from it. Somebody needs to step up and say, this, this is. I'm, I'm not genuinely upset. I'm actually enjoying this. Fear not, Espel. Thank you. Scary. And we have to stop it now. Well, not as embarrassed as the administration before in the Obama administration, where That's you right. had significant spying going on. And in the last election. Uh, no, you didn't. The intelligence agencies were used to disaster one candidate. Let's not forget. To disaster a candidate? Is disaster a verb? At the garbage That's dossier. Right. At uh, the garbage dossier? The one paid for by... Uh, the, was it the Washington Free Beacon? I always get them mixed up with the examiner, uh, examiner. And then, uh, and then sold to the DNC and Clinton and they didn't use it because they thought it was gross. And so he went to McCain and to other people, the FBI, because he's like, this is real. And the fact that they used that dossier to take down Donald Trump. And it was all a, an idea from Hillary Clinton's foreign policy advisor. And no, it wasn't. And yet we still don't have the media calling this out. A I'm, I'm calling out your bullshit and his bullshit. Does that count? Away from Fox News Thank and you, Fox Bob. Business and, the, and some in the Wall Street Journal. So why wouldn't they spy and abuse their power, Tucker, that's when they right. know that there are no consequences for it? Well, that's, you're, that's such a... It's so true, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, Maria, for bringing that up. And by the way, I think you're right. There's no such thing as too much filler. Um, listen, and I'm not talking about your lips. I'm talking about your show. Listen... We both know that we are, I mean, the NSA is more afraid of the you and me than of like anybody. And I mean, you, I can prove it. They just said white supremacists are the biggest domestic terror, racially uh, 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 elite specific minor threat within the subcategory of domestic terror uh, in the country. And so it must be me. It must be. Such a wise point. And one of the reasons they- It's a wise point. She's so wise. She's so wise. Don't want to pursue the story is because they would have to concede, in effect, that Trump was right, that he was being spied on by- No, he wasn't. By the, by the Department of Justice and by- No, Sergei Lavrov was being spied on because he's a fucking danger to the earth the CIA. Now, I have to say, not only are the media not doing their job, which is to... Which is, I mean, that we're, we're watching that happen right now. I mean, I, I like to think myself as, as media um, in my own little way. Hi. But, uh, but certainly, uh, Tucker Carlson original bullshit um, is not doing its job. Just to push back against the abuse of power on behalf of the country and its citizens. What, what abuse of power? There is none. As a matter of fact, even the allegations he's making, again, if they're true, within the fantasy bubble of his bullshit, is that the NSA is looking at foreign actors and finding out that Tucker Carlson is talking to somebody awful and what he's saying in the shit is dangerous and is concerning, so they refer it to the FBI, which is what they're supposed to do. But they're participating in it. Ben Smith of BuzzFeed, who is now a columnist at the New York Times, ran, when he ran BuzzFeed, uncritically the entire dossier. Basically, he took a dump, an int Yeah, um, which is what I think you actually should call your show. He took a what? Ran BuzzFeed, uncritically the entire dossier. Basically, he took a dump, 
an intel dump from the well thanks for clarifying agents from the spy agencies and Un unlike your opening monologues which are just a plain old dump just and just ran it just took their propaganda and just kind of put it out there and people could judge for themselves you mean you mean like without any you know judgment for that like here's the whole thing you can look at it and you can believe it or not you could leave it you leave it up to the american people to decide whether there's there's a there there or there isn't Clearly, there was a, 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 an even split in people that believed it and didn't believe it when it first came out. And then, of course, it was about what could be verified and what could not. Yeah, it was his, his closing uh, monologue is called The Upper Decker in an ironic sense. Yeah. For political reasons. And it is true that Tucker Carlson show is the, quip, the equivalent news-wise, journalism, in terms of journalism, is the equivalent of saran wrapping a toilet. He was willingly yeah. used by these actors and that is no he wasn't willingly used they put they they got a hold of it it was newsworthy people were curious what was in it so they put it out there to to basically sell ad space i mean that's that's why they posted it not because it was true or it was right because everybody wanted to see it i mean it, understand it that is the political equivalent of uh you know of i don't know spitballing um uh, a camera phone picture of Tucker Carlson's nuts sent to Maria Bar uh, Butina and Bartiromo by accident because it was she was CC. And that is kind of exactly the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing as a journalist. You're not supposed to be a tool of some creepy federal intel agency. That's kind of No, you're supposed to be a tool of dangerous foreign actors. And if any of the national security apparatus of your country looks into it, you have to go on your show and push back on it. Otherwise, they, you know, the foreign actor that has you by the shirt and curlies will uh, release all the white supremacist emails. That's kind of not your job, but that's what he did and many did. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, during... And fortunately, my uh, executive producer is making me keep you on the show. During the Trump era, the journal era you mean the the three and a half years where he actually was capable of doing something and the two where he actually did and the one that you could kind of cram all the stuff that he managed to get past or whatever and then the six days of it that actually kept meaningly namely the the corporate tax cut journalists out there quote unquote should be ashamed of their yeah. unwillingness and in, they were incapable of actually covering them fairly. I want to take a break, but I want to talk. Yeah, I think I would take a break, too, because Tucker needs to run some things by the Fox attorney and the PR person that's standing just off camera that's helping him with damage control because they've got a this is part of obviously a, uh, a crisis team that they put together. Talk to you more about this and also get your take on what you're seeing from government agencies, big tech, and the Chinese Communist Party. Because yeah, it all, it's all tied together. Because it's yep. all looking really very similar right now. We've got to get into it. We're talking with Tucker Carlson this morning. We are also going to get news on his latest episode of his Fox Nation series, Tucker Carlson Original. Stay with us. What's it called, sorry? With us. We'll be right back. No. Welcome back. I'm back with Tucker Carlson, who has been... Who, who looks like someone who's being spied on by the national security agency of the most powerful country in the world with the biggest military in the world, uh, times six. Spied on by the NSA. Uh, bullshit. Allegedly. Mar uh, Maria, for real. For fucking real. Allegedly. Welcome back. I'm back with Tucker Carlson, who has been spied on by the... Bullshit again. I, I honestly, if it wasn't a government agency, they'd be suing him already. The NSA, they do not deny spying. They will not admit to it either. Mm -hmm. But he has had the courage to call out hypocrisy. And Tucker, now we're... Yeah, that's what he's calling out. We're seeing this partnership with big tech and big government as these agencies are obviously getting politicized. I want to get your take on... Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the NSA tweeted and clearly their Twitter account is like a government account specifically. This New Zealand University professor, he says Twitter temporarily... Oh, it's, it's kind of like a college is like a circle. But not like a real circle, like a freaky circle. Early restricted her account after she mocked Chinese President Xi Jinping. This professor. 
The who, sorry? Restricted her account after she mocked Chinese President Xi Jinping. This professor was making fun of the CCP's 100th anniversary celebrations, and two of her tweets were marked unavailable. Your take on why Twitter would make her tweets unavailable because she said something that Xi Jinping did not like. Well, I don't know what the rules are in New Zealand. Well, because they finally pulled off the mask. I mean, it's, you know, if you want to know who's in charge, you know, who can't you criticize? And, of course, the Chinese are ultimately who the tech companies care about. I, um, I, I, as someone who um, was traveling in China kind of extensively right up till COVID happened and who speaks Chinese and who knows quite a bit about <laughs> the country from uh, being there, um, has, has anybody noticed a couple of... Uh, Tweets I had over the last week, specifically because of stories that were coming out, uh, criticizing both the CCP and the Chinese government. Anybody? Like, I mean, I like my video yesterday, I spent a, like a quarter of the show talking about how I actually think the population figures in China are overblown in an attempt to look them, make them look um, like a more uh, a bigger force in the world than they actually are. And if people found out that they probably have closer to 600 bil uh, million people as opposed to a billion three, which is like worldwide Chinese population everywhere, expats and Chinese people who are raised, lived third generation in other countries, um, I, I, didn't have a, I didn't have a problem with that. Hmm. And it kind of... It's it, was a, some, it was a New Zealand professor. Again, I don't know what the fuck this has to do with the NSA chasing... Tucker, but this is like the same thing. It's totally like the same thing. It's kind of, I mean, Jack Dorsey doesn't need any more money. He's the, the kind of nose ringed uh, ayahuasca enthusiast who runs Twitter, but he's, a, he's actually a very powerful person in American life. A lot of our most important conversations unfold on Twitter, unfortunately, but that's true. So he has a lot. Um, really? Getter's not doing it for you? Get her done. Come on, get her. Get on, get her. Because shitter was taken. Out of control over speech in this country. Thank and you, he sweet cares much more about what the Chinese government thinks. And I think it's a business consideration than he cares about. Yes. About the ability of normal people to, to exercise their right of free speech. Um, but it's shocking. And you. The fuck does that have to do with us? Kind of wonder, like, where's the Congress in this? So the Congress in what? It's a multinational company, and the countries that it operates in have different rules than we do. Most of us, I mean, you and I have platforms, thank heaven, so we have some recourse. If we're wronged, we can say so. Yeah, you got three shows now. It's almost like they're trying to move you to a website to hide whatever's coming out. So on TV, and lots of people can hear about it. But in the end, we don't have real power. We can't change laws. We can't command troops. The only people... Well, that's not fair. I mean, January 6th, you could argue that you did... Precisely that. People who can stand up for free speech in the Western world right now are Republicans in the U.S. Congress. I mean, what? Well, we'll get to this, by the way. We'll get to this whole talking point when we jump over to the Trump uh, announcement right after this. That, that's really, it's. Yeah, Gitter got hacked right away. Kind of left to them. And Gitter! Unfortunately, most of them are very mediocre and dumb and afraid. But they have to step up because there's nobody else to... Yeah, because that's what you want. I want dumb uh, uh, people who are afraid um, to to stand up and protect me from a, a real threat. Wouldn't you want somebody who was dumb and, and cowardly to step aside? All right. Else to step up. There's no one else to protect, again, not just the right of Americans, but of the entire West. To the entire West say what is true and to push back against entrenched power like where are they why are they allowing this seriously but, but it's seriously why are they not um stopping the nsa from doing their actual job and when confronted with a criminal within the continental united states that's a citizen why are they not stopping them from handing over the investigatory power about it to the fbi um because that's what legally they're responsible for doing why <sighs> Isn't it, isn't it really a, a, a um, isn't it really a uh, bullshit? Sorry, state of affairs when journalists are not even sticking up for free speech. No. I mean, look at this. The CCP is surveilling its citizens every day. Now right. And? Now we see little pockets of situations similar, like Tucker Carlson getting spied on by the NSA. How the fuck is that related? What are you talking about? 
yeah, the Chinese have, like, are putting Uyghurs in concentration camps. It's exactly like me getting a boot on my car for not paying my parking tickets. Get the fuck out of here. Are there no journalists left to actually call out this hypocrisy aside from us? I mean, we have been... You're not, you're not journalists. And, uh, I, I'm not a journalist. Um, I'm just a genius. And I'm here to call you out on your bullshit and your hypocrisy. Spotlighting and calling out the CCP for so many years now, but it has gotten dangerous. Do they not oh, recognize yeah. who they are in bed with just because they've got dollar signs in their eyes to sell to 1.4 billion people? And big tech is just the beginning of it. Don't even get me started about the financials. That's right. Because people... Get, no, get started about the financials. Tucker will glaze over and none of your audience will understand. People's lowest instinct, this is an ugly feature of human nature, is... <laughs> Was this in the emails? This was what you were discussing with uh, Sergey Lavrov's uh, uh, stepdaughter. To suck up to power, to you know, to, to kiss us, to kiss up and spit down. Unfortunately, that's and right. part of what it means to be it, well, that's by the way, when they do um, uh, team building exercises at Fox News, they're called uh, um, uh, <laughs> um, kiss up and spit down exercises. That's uh, that's actually how they be a dignified adult is to fight back against those instincts protect the weak, fight the powerful when appropriate. I mean, that's that's kind of our- That's one of my favorite uh, um, rap songs. Fight the power when appropriate. Job. And journalists, ultimately, it's not even a left-right question. They suck up to those in charge and they hurt those below them. And I think it's really ignoble. I think it's yes. disgusting, honestly. Um, what, what do you, how do you feel about like um, fake journalists, like opinion people who just make shit up out of whole cloth for ratings. What's your opinion on that? I mean, it's like, what's the over under on its value? You, you are putting a spotlight on all of this in your... No, he isn't. He's putting a spotlight on himself, dipshit. New series, your Fox Nation series, as well as every night on Tucker Carlson tonight. But tell me about Tucker Carlson Originals. Your yeah, tell us about it. It's wonderful. Is it a baking show? It sounds like cooking. Out with a new episode, Surviving Disorder deals with regular Americans who experienced anarchy and risked everything for the safety and security of themselves or their families. We oh, oh, you mean police officers? Like that guy? Surviving disorder. Great. Basically, Tucker Carlson's interviewing preppers now. Have a clip. Let's show it. And then I want to hear about it. Watch. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. It's not a teaser trailer at all. Yeah, well, it was 2005 when my guns were confiscated right here. I, I was just, all I was doing, I was down here killing alligators in violation of uh, national park rules and that kind of stuff. And there was just some kids out here. They were on... Uh, they were down in the bayou. They was uh, riding around on some jet skis, and whatnot, and I mistook them for uh, for uh, a kingfisher crane that I wanted to pot. And I, so I opened fire, and the cops came down and said, "You can't have a gun anymore. Your ex-wife was a little afraid for her life." I didn't really have any say so in the matter. All you see on the news is people looting and uh, you know walking down the street with guns and TV sets and all of this. Yeah, and I don't know which one you actually can open fire with. I got kind of scared. I wanted to come back. I, I, I needed a, like, I have a 45 caliber TV set that I often... I can get my gun collection. A lot of people don't think... Uh... I had a, I got my gun taken away, so I decided to take a boat down here and steal guns from these empty houses. Uh, like that gun can be taken. It can happen. It did happen. What for? Yeah, we know you can get your guns taken away, dipshit. What, you, you don't have an absolute right to guns if you're a fucking felon or you're doing all kinds of, like, what are you talking about? Why? You have, if you're going to show that clip, you, people can get their guns taken away. All you, I mean, it's, it's as simple as threatening your ex-wife and your children with death on national television. That happens once. They're going to come a-knocking. It can happen to anybody. Who's a murderous dipshit who threatens their wife and children? Such an important episode. Oh my god, uh, so where else did he get guns? Yeah. As Joe Biden chooses guns as his way to fight the crime, which is spiking because of his and the Democrats' policies. Tell us. Really? Because it spiked last year. Was it their policies that made it spike back then? It spiked the year before that as well. It's been on an uptick since 2016.
Hmm. It's more That's about right. the episode. Look, the police go away, and they're going away across the country. They're, they're quitting because they're discouraged or they're too afraid to enforce the law. Or they're. It's almost like the federal government should give uh, local law enforcement more money to hire more uh, law enforcement. Um, and, oh, shit, right, they did. Somebody voted against it, though. I can't remember which party. Being de literally defunded in a lot of places. Yeah, and then literally refunded by the Biden administration. Places. So we're and by the way, uh, the, the refunding of the police, um, the only people that voted against it were Republicans. Where does that leave you? Crime rates go up. There's more disorder. There's more chaos. How do you protect yourself? Well, that's your most fundamental right, the right to self-defense. Uh, no, free speech is first. Uh, um, bearing arms is second, but only in, re in regards to its value in a well-regulated militia. So even within the... At the Second Amendment, there's well-regulated is a fundamental aspect of the Second Amendment that you guys breeze past. You're not born with a gun instead of a penis. I know you wish you were because, you know. But in case after case that we looked at in the L.A. riots of 1992, Katrina in 2005, and most recently the riots over the summer, politicians have stepped in. So, so armed citizen John uh, David Jew is firing from a distance at people running away? What's happening? And then stripped people's right to defend themselves and just left them basically to the mob. It's terrifying. It's accelerating this attack on the most basic right of all, which is of self-defense. And so we thought we'd chronicle it in this documentary. We, we talked to people who've lived through anarchy, and there are a lot of them, it turns out, in this country. And you should know about it. In other countries. Because that could be you. Yeah. In the direction this country. It totally could be. I mean, it's we're, we're this close. I mean... We're, we're this close to like um, 10 years of uninterrupted growth and wealth, but we're this close in, uh, yeah. Trees going. So it's pretty simple and worth Absolutely. watching, I would say. Well, I would, it's worth watching, I would say, but only because they made me do it. Tucker, is there anything else you can do aside from talking about the... No, no. I mean, that's true in every aspect of life. Spying going on uh, on the air. Is there any other way you can... Anarchy is not good. Anarchy is ridiculous. We had anarchy. There's a reason why communities came together. Anarchy is not anarchy is not the same as individual in, you know uh, individualism. Fight back. It's not good. Anarchy is not good. If you're a childless loner in a uh, in a, you know wandering the Australian outback um, after the apocalypse, maybe it's okay. I, I don't want to live in barter town. I'm just saying. I, I just, I can't emphasize this enough. The reason I did not, this is not something I wanted to talk about. I don't talk about my emails. I don't want to seem yeah. like. I well, of course you don't want to talk about them. They have pictures of your penis and uh, there's a 15 year old girl or, well, it's not really a 15 year old girl. It's a Russian agent um, posing as one, but still on the other end of them. I'm, you know, a lunatic. The only reason I said this on TV was because I felt so threatened that I <laughs> I feel so threatened on TV. I didn't feel I had a choice. I mean, I don't feel, I felt so threatened by my waning numbers on the network and advertising going in the shitter. What, what's my other recourse? I'm a, what, what am I supposed to do? Tell the truth? A talk show host. So I talked about it and I, I really felt yeah. I had to, and I'm going to continue. I really felt like I had to, or I wouldn't have any viewers. It's only because I talk about it that I end up on great shows like, shows like yours, Maria. Doing that and keep pushing the Republicans in the Congress to do something about it. Their job is to, is to, is to, is to, is to follow what I say, which my Russian handler tells me to say to them. And they're supposed to follow through with that. I mean, that, I said that in the email. They know. Oversight of these agencies, these incredibly powerful agencies. They're not doing that. And I'm going to keep pushing them until they do, because I don't know what else to do. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like you can do journalism or anything. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. And they keep getting politicized. Tucker, thanks very yes. much. For and they keep getting politicized. Moron! He just said that they don't seem to care whether it's Democrat or Republican. He just said that to you about the NSA. He just said there is no political pressure pushing them in this direction. They have their own motive. This is, you gotta understand, Maria, you gotta keep up. You have to understand. The, the, we have two storylines at Fox News. You gotta stick with them. One is, 
The Biden administration, who's really a puppet administration for Obama, who's really being run by Hillary's people from before, is a big marionette thing. And Biden doesn't know what's going on. He's president, sippy cup, his hand, he calls him. And he doesn't know. And he's being told what to say and do by other people. And and uh, he's you know absolutely a puppet. And deep state of people that don't listen to anybody are really running the show at the exact same time. So it's a war. It's the marionettes versus the puppet masters. And it's basically a big episode of Punch and Judy. Much for your work. Great to see you this morning. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. I'm sorry I had to, I, I, I look so sleepy.